everybody, Ian Gilder from TV Travel Shop. I say it every day. Hello, hope you're well and staying safe. Good old Boris, still keeping us locked down. Looking like there could be some light at the end of the tunnel here with the vaccines being done on a daily basis. So hopefully within the coming months, we'll be able to get people away. As usual, we have three amazing deals come from our trade and tour operator partners. They submit them to the team. The team look at them and go, yes, I like that. If we like it, we bring it to life and submit and here I am today. If we don't, we send it back to them. So then we get many offers which get sent in which we don't like because uh, we don't think they're good enough deals. So we are only bringing you the creme de la creme. The other thing the team also do is check that the tour operator or travel agent partner is bonded either by ABTA, Atoll or a trust service. So you know that you book when you book your money is safe. As usual, three deals. First one's going to be a short haul, second one long haul, third one bucket list or cruise or sporting event. So let's get going. So the first one is an amazing deal from WWTT Deals. And it's going to one um, quite a popular place with our Brits, which is Lanzarote. I've been to Lanzarote once, I stayed at Costa de Guiz. But this is at the most, probably the most famous resort in Lanzarote, which is Puerto del Carmen. It's staying at Le, Le Branda Los Cosateras Hotel, and it's rated four star by TripAdvisor. It's a good hotel, it's rated 19 out of 100 hotels in Puerto del Carmen, and it's a TripAdvisor Traveller's Choice Award. Um, things to do in Puerto del Carmen, it is generally purpose built, but there is a nice harbour and marina there. That is a bit of an old town, but it is built for bars, restaurants, enjoying yourself. It's quite a fun place to actually go to. It's quite lively out of all of the um, Lanzarote hotels. It's one of the most recognised hotel establishments in Puerto del Carmen. It's located on a gentle hill in front of the sea and the main street of Puerto del Carmen called the Avenida de las la de Playas which is the main area. So the great thing about this hotel is its location. That's the number one thing that you'll go in there. All the rooms are fully equipped with kitchen air, oven, coffee maker, kettle. It's a self-catering apartment. It has an outdoor pool. And my notes here says, at a glance, what can you do in Puerto del Carmen? Um, go scuba diving at the Playa Chica. Um, hit a jazz club along Avenue de las de Playas. Or get yourself out and go to Mount Team and Fire, which is the Team and Fire National Park. Somewhere that I have actually been to, and I really, really enjoyed getting out. Jumped in a kind of, I hired a car, so you can hire a car if you want to, if not take an organised shore excursion. Take you to the Mount Team and Fire, which is an active volcano. And with that they do some demonstrations, they'll put a bit of hay into a hole and all of a sudden it will spontaneously combust. They'll put some water in, it will shoot up, up in, the, in the air. And then they'll take you on a coach journey around the lunar landscape. Obviously, it is a volcanic town, um, a lot of black um, beaches, so it takes you around. It's quite a nice thing to see and do. There's a lovely restaurant up there where they literally cook, literally 40 foot above. There's a big hole, they cook your food, it's amazing fish food, amazing steaks. It's a really, really good place to, to see and do. Other things to do, obviously, in Playa del Carmen, it comes with three sandy beaches. The main one that runs along the promenade is Playa Grande with its sun loungers, umbrellas and gently shelving shoreline. So it's quite a, a chill place to go, have a beer, have a party, great bars, great restaurants and great price, which brings it on to me. So how much are we leading in at? So for seven nights, flying in May, including um, flights from London, hand baggage and free private transfers. You need to book by the 31st of January as they have um, a 20% saving on there and departures up until the 31st of October. The leading in for seven nights from only £219 on a self-catering. So it's at to Lanzarote, four-hour flight, guaranteed sun all year round. That's based in May. They have um, dates, as say, going from May all the way to October. Regionals are available. So 219 quid, so that's £30 per person per night in Lanzarote. Where, where do I sign up? So if you want to go, find the guys at WWTT Deals, numbers on the screen. If you want further information, click on any of the links around our social media pages. Um, give us some Instagram love, like it and share it on Facebook and enable your notifications on YouTube. So we're now on to our next offer, as usual. It's going to be a long haul offer and this is an absolutely cracking deal. I've got to say, um, with COVID, there is some deals out here which you generally don't see all the time. And 
This is an amazing, amazing deal. It's from our friends. Up North, Constant Travel in Leeds. They submit to us on a fairly regular basis. They are Cyprus specialists, but this is an amazing deal. The team have looked at it, researched it, gone, great offer, let's get it featured. So this is a chill break out to the Caribbean. It's staying at the four star, gotta get my teeth in for this one, the Walala Bahibi Bibi, I think I got that one wrong, but never mind, the Walala Bahibi Bibi is what we're calling it now, in the Dominican Republic. Um, it's four star, uh, it's all inclusive, it's 14 nights, going in November. Um, looking at the information, it's four restaurants, four pools, it's a total, total chill um, accommodation. There's not, not going to be a lot going on. Just you, the wife, you, somebody else's wife, you, the girlfriend. It's just go out there and you want to get away at a good price, all inclusive for food, drink, winter sunshine. It doesn't get a lot better than this. This hotel is actually rated number three out of 27 hotels in the area of Dominican Republic. Um, it's less than 10 minutes drive from the main centre of Bahibi, where, where it's based. Um, most of the hotel's facilities are clustered around the central courtyard. Four good sized poles, a couple of our fresco um, a la carte restaurants. What more do you want? Beer, sun, food. Price, 999 per person. Phone the guys and girls at Constant Travel, numbers on the screen. They can do this on direct debit as well. So if money's a little bit tight, which for all of us it is, um, they can take a monthly direct debit for you and you can pay monthly. Um, all back backed under the direct debit scheme as well. So give Constant Travel a call, numbers on the screen. You click on one of the links around our social media posts. Give us some Instagram love. Like us or share us on Facebook and enable our YouTube um, notifications. So we're now onto our last section. Last section, as always, is either going to be a cruise, a bucket list, or a sporting event. And today we've got a cruise from my friends at Adore Cruises. This is a ship that I actually haven't been on. I've been on over 100 cruise ships, um, but I've been on its sister ships, the Breeze, the Dream, and there's one other, I can't remember the name of it. But I love Carnival. Why do I like Carnival so much? Excellent value for money. The food is some of the best mainstream food afloat. And the price which I'm about to give you for this offer really is very, very sexy. So this is based going on the 24th of October this year. So I believe that includes the October half term date, where they're going to fly you direct into Miami for a one night stay in Miami. That'll be at an airport hotel. If you're looking to upgrade to a beach hotel, speak to the guys at Door Cruises, they can do so. If you want an extra couple of nights in Miami, pre or post cruise, speak to them as well. They'll be able to help you. And then you're going for a six night cruise on the Carnival Horizon. The Carnival Horizon came into service in 2018. It's one of their newer ships. And as I say, I've been on the, the Breeze, uh, the Vista, and the Dream. What do I like about it? Many things. It has a, something called the Skyride. The Skyride is like a bike which goes around the outside of the ship, up top, so you like 200 foot, um, having some great views. Some of the food is fantastic, and it has some great speciality restaurants. It has the Steakhouse, and the Steakhouse... If you're going to go there, it's around about $30 cover charge. Make certain you have the, the New York cheesecake. I kid you not, it's, it's bigger than my cup. It's taller. It's that wide. It's one of the biggest pieces of cheesecake you're available to have. The steak is to die for. The lobster is meant to be absolutely amazing. You can eat at the teppanyaki. I love a bit of teppanyaki. It's where they cook the food in front of you. You give you like a rice mountain. and It's really, really good. I like the alternative dining, you've got the Blue Agana Cantina, so that's out by on the, the, the deck where the swimming pools are. And they do Mexican, they do some great tacos, um, burritos, so I eat there generally breakfast and lunchtime. And you can go to Guy's Burger Joint. The Guy's Burger Joint is by a guy called Guy Fieri, he's an American award winning chef. He does the dirtiest burgers, it has cheese, it has onions, it has everything. Absolutely fantastic. But if you like Italian food, get yourself up to the Cucina del Capitano. It's like food that you'd cook with your old Italian mama, you all tuck in, your bread sharing, you all help yourself to spaghetti bolognese, absolutely fantastic. I like Carnival for the entertainment, they are must be a little bit more relaxed than some of the other cruise lines, you're out in the Caribbean, you just want to go and have fun, they've got some great bars, they have um, the Blue Frog, which is their own brew house, they have fun and games on there, they have two IMAX cinemas, one with 3D motion, they have the Serenity adult only area where you can hire a cabana and have a total chill. In the evenings they have 
full entertainment. They have some of the best shows of float. They have a lip sync battle. They have Mr. and Mrs. My family is better than your family. They have so much going on. And value for money, I don't think you can do any better than going on a cruise. It's going to include your flights, your food, your entertainment. And this is going to be six ports of call. Cool. So on the 25th, you're going to go have a fun day at sea. So you're going to have Mr. and Mrs., the belly flop competition, sexy legs. It's just good fun, action-packed, and clean and family fun. And then your first port of call will be Ochos Rios. Ochos Rios, and most, if I was going Ochos Rios, if you've never been, the thing that I would do is get yourself up to Duns River Falls. I love Duns River Falls. It's one of the most famous waterfalls in the Caribbean. You go up in holding hands, they take you up. A couple of top tips is make certain you take some old trainers because one, it's very slippery and then on other places it cuts your feet open. Second top tip, nothing you do about it, it's really, really cold. The water is freezing, so if you're a bloke, um, get, put a sock down there because it's going to absolutely shrink because it's going to be that cold up there. While you're at Ochers Risk, what you can also do is you can, um, there's a ski lift which takes you up to the top of the mountains and there is the Jamaican blog bobsled from Cordy Rollins. It's going to take you around there. Everything's going to be irony. Sorry, really bad Jamaican accent, but as good as it gets. So that's really good fun as well. So it's a good fun day to have. Um, you can also go raft, um, rafting at the Martha Bray River. It's just, or get yourself up into the Blue Mountains, explore up there. It's very lush. It's a great place to see and do, but my top tip would be get yourself to Ochers Rios. You can also go into the main part of town where you get some duty free shopping, which is silly, silly cheap as well. So when you get off the ship, don't organise, take the organised shore excursion, get a bus, they'll do it a lot cheaper. It's a lot safer than it used to be as well many, many years ago. Sorry Gemma from Carnival that I'm taking money from taking the organised shore excursion. Next port of call is onto Grand Cayman. Things to see and do at Grand Cayman, one of the most famous things is Seven Mile Beach. Um, swimming with Stingray is absolutely great fun, hopefully you won't do a Steve Irwin. Or, um, sorry, the producers are laughing at me. Did I just say that? Yes, I did. Um, or get yourself to hell, send the mother in law to hell. Hell is a, an a, a area where it's lots of rock, it looks like hell. You can also go to there is a, a turtle place there and also swimming with the dolphins. So, Grand Cayman is lovely, the weather is fantastic, it is duty free. So, if you want to buy yourself a camera, some electronics, that's a great, good place to go to. Then, on to one of my favourite places in the Caribbean, Cozumel. What do I do in Cozumel? Choice of two, really. Get yourself to Chackenham National Park. Go swimming with the dolphins. If you've never swum with the dolphins, this is the place to do so. It's one of the cheapest places to do. Book it before you go. It will cost you $20 to get there to the Chackenham National Park by a taxi. You can book the Royal Swim, so it gives you the full the full experience. It's a big old area. They do the, the dorsal push. They'll pull you along. They'll let you stroke their belly. belly. It's really good fun. You also get food included in the price there as well, so it's a really, really good day out. Or if you want to get go and have a few more beers, get yourself into Carlos and Charlie's. Hopefully some other ships will be in there, and generally you will have ship wars between the two of them. A bit of chanting, a bit of limbo dancing, a bit of tequila, a bit of shotting. It's a good, fun, fun place. Final day at sea before coming back into Miami. So for one night in Miami, six night, four board cruise, including your port taxis, your entertainment, inside cabin, the door cruises are doing this at $8.99 per person, outside $9.99 or balcony $10.99. Where it is a great price is if, you, if you're taking three or four people with you, a family of four leads in at only $7.99 per person. For £3,200, you can have a four ball cruise out in the Caribbean for October half term. That also includes direct Virgin flights. So if you like this deal, um, like it and share it on Facebook. Click more further information, click on the link around our social media pages. Give us some Instagram love and also subscribe to our YouTube channel and enable notifications. I love that deal. Trust me, if you go on it, you're going to have a great fun. It's just party, fun, quality, food, etc, etc. That's me done for the day. I'll see you all tomorrow at 11 o'clock and please stay safe.